everybody and welcome to another episode of Force of Will News. As usual, please click in the description below so that you can go to Happy Little Hug Factory's site. They do have sealed as well as singles for Force of Will and casters. They also have singles of the new set, so be sure to click the link in the description so that they know that we sent you. So in our first piece of news, in case you guys haven't heard of Cool Stuff Incorporated, they are a website as well as they have a physical storefront. Uh, they were caught, they told two different customers two different things. The first customer they had told that they had only received one of the promo rulers for Kaguya for basically everything. And when they went to buy the boxes, they said that they had to buy the whole case in order to get one of the rulers. They did that, they took the ruler and they went on their way. There was a, another customer who came in who was told that they only received one ruler per case. And so he kind of did the same thing. But the thing is, an hour later, on the website of Cool Stuff Incorporated, they had singles for sale of the promo card. So obviously they were being a little sketchy on that front. They didn't take in any of the promos, so it's not like they just received them and they were gonna sell them really quickly. It was kind of just a, uh, yep, this is, this is us screwing you over <laughs> sort of thing. So always be careful whenever you're going to different stores. Uh, and make sure that they're not trying to pull one over on you guys, because people suck. <laughs> so we got our first official look at the promos for the Wanderers and New Frontier. Uh, we technically had already seen the Wanderers promo, but now we get to see it in high resolution as well as the New Frontier one. So that's pretty exciting. They're both pretty cool looking. I personally like the Mermaid Ruler because it's cute. <laughs> um, but yeah, let us know what you think of those. So as you guys have heard, Winds of the Ominous Moon has officially been released, and as we expected, the ruler ratios are a bit off. Uh, there is about a 70% chance to pull a ruler, so some people have said that they've pulled two rulers, some people said they pulled no rulers, as well as some people have said they pulled two god packs. So the ratios are kind of all over the place, but that could be really cool or really eh in your favor. <laughs> um, we also noticed that there is a printing issue. It is only in the Italian version, but it's for the chase card, the Ultra Dragon. It has a green will instead of a red will. So there was that. That's the only other, or that's the only misprint that we've seen so far, but we'll see. Uh, other than those two things though, I would super recommend still getting a box. I did <laughs> because there were some great pulls as well as some beautiful artwork. We also finally got some information on the new Caster Chronicle set that's going to be coming out. It is going to be the theme Club Activities, and it's going to be coming out on August 3rd. As you can see, some of the cards, the Brass Band Club, are going to have some abilities that are going to help with the DCT as well as the Earnest Mechanics. This is not only really cool that they're doing support for some of the previous mechanics, but also the fact that it's going to bring up the value of the starter deck, which was basically all of the Earnest Mechanics. The Force of Will database is gone. It's not the main one on the Force of Will official page, but it is the one that a lot of people use. If you go over to the db.fowtcg.us database, you will notice that it is not there. Now, we aren't 100% sure why it's not there. There's been a couple of rumors going around, uh, one of which is that they were trying to update something, and then in the process, they hit a bug, which made the site crash, but we're not 100% sure how accurate that is or if it's true. Uh, we will let you know when we find out more information about that and hopefully we'll get that back up because I know a lot of people were using that because it's a lot uh, smoother to run as well as a little bit more functional. The company also released some news about the new Valhalla. It is only a part one of two, so it's only half the information, but here are some of the key points that we picked out of it. They had talked about how the rulers had started off really weak, but as it went on, it got stronger and stronger until it finally reached its peak at Prisha. Uh, they said that they tried to bring in the sealed abilities in order to kind of balance the rulers, but it didn't really work as they had hoped it would. So what they're doing now is they're going to be doing a completely new system called runes. The runes are basically going to take the place of the J rulers in the pack. So you'll be pulling runes instead of J rulers in booster packs. And what they're going to do is they're going to strengthen the weaker rulers. So hopefully we'll be seeing more, well, other rulers than just one ruler at different gameplays. So I'm interested to see if this is actually going to help or if it's going to be kind of just like a nice thought that they're doing, but we'll see how that works out. ARG has come out with their own official Force of Will team. 
Now this team is going to be representing them at different GPs and ARGs, and this team is going to include our very own Colin from TCG Scrubs. Now, if you would like to know a little bit more about how that's going to work, you can watch one of the most recent podcasts where they kind of go over exactly what that means for us, as well as Colin. The Collinsville GP is going to be the first event that is going to have some of the team members of the ARG there to represent. So it's going to be interesting to follow them. If you click in the description, there is going to be a link to the Force of Will ARG Facebook page. Uh, so click and follow that so that way you can kind of see how that plays out. You can also follow our very own Colin on Twitter at ARG Colin. That just about wraps it up for the news for today. Uh, let us know what your opinions are on a lot of the things, as well as maybe leave a comment for Colin about getting into the ARG. <laughs> um, but thanks. <laughs>